So thank you for doing this, of course. This is wonderful me. to speak to you. <laughs> and um, I want to start off just wondering, why did you want to do this series? What was the draw to it? And did you always know your character's fate is another question. Um, yeah, I did always know um, the fate, which I think, you know, for some people would be like, oh, it's, you know, it's so short. It doesn't, you know, why would you want to do it or anything like that? But I mean, just like to work with such wonderful people and um, to be involved in something just, you know, I knew the game before, so I kind of knew what I was stepping into, but to see it, you know, uh, imagined in in life in such a wonderful way, I think it was such a given to want to be involved. Um, Neil, you know, so much respect for him in, you know, what he did with the game and Craig in terms of, you know, his pre-existing world like Chernobyl was incredible. Uh, and to work alongside Pedro, who like, who wouldn't want to work alongside Pedro Pascal? I mean, it's a dream. Um, so yeah, I was just, I, as soon as the audition kind of came around, I was like, of course, I would want to be involved in this, uh, no matter how big or small. So yeah, but yeah. I did, I did know of it before and I was well aware um, prior yeah, to Yeah, and it. even though she's only on screen a short amount of time, she's there throughout present in Pedro in his performance. Yeah, well, um, I think I kind of knew that. Through. I knew that too, I think. I knew kind of um, the impact that she leaves uh, was, you know, holds weight to the story and his um, development and his character arc. So I kind of was, you know, I knew that uh, prior to, you know, being involved because I would always, when I would watch the game when I was younger, I would always cry. So I was like, you know, I want to make people cry. I want to do that. Uh, so I think that kind of challenge I was very, very excited for. And what did you want to bring to Sarah, you know, to the character? I think, you know, she's so different to Ellie. Um, and so I think, you know, since I kind of knew the game, I I knew that, you know, they're not meant to, you're kind of meant to see the differences between them. So I, I wanted to do that while simultaneously, you know, she's funny and she's playful. And I think that Ellie's just the same, just because, you know, she's grown up under different circumstances, which allow her to kind of be darker. I think, you know, her humor, I think is something that both me and Craig and Neil and everything kind of wanted to incorporate more so um, into Sarah. So I think that was something I kind of wanted to bring. Um, and then I think also, you know, because you get to watch in the game, a lot of it, you're kind of like, you can, you know, move the POV around. So you're like looking around at everything. But I think since this is like, you know, shot, the camera is where it is and it's edited how it's edited and you can see um, her face a lot of the time. So I kind of wanted to really emphasize like how terrifying it is. Cause I feel like you kind of go through um, the initial outbreak through the eyes of Sarah and through that entire day, kind of through her perspective. So I definitely wanted to kind of emphasize like, this is really scary. <laughs> so that was simply something I wanted to bring to, to the mix. Wasn't it incredible to see like the scene in the car is I think the one that really got me because you get to control where she's looking and you're, you know, you're in the middle of, of the apocalypse essentially. So of course you want to look around and see what's going on and the camera what they did with the camera in that scene matched so perfectly. I'm like, it's, yeah. I mean, I was like, wait a second. No, I did have some control there and they still captured like, yeah, you know, that, the I, essence I, of a plane. All of the kind of like iconic things, I think they stayed so true to. And I remember after it came out, I saw like a, like a side by side of like the car sequence and like each shot. And it was just such a perfect match. Like in terms of also like set design, um, mm -hmm and locations and everything and like scouting that location and all of that I was just so impressed by um how like to a T they managed to get it so watching it was really yeah it was really cool because I think you get the kind of same effect of like I think what's so wonderful about kind of having like the POV is that like you're experiencing the confusion at the same time as yeah. them and like all of that kind of like heightened stress and everything at the exact same time and I think that they managed to emulate that same feeling um incredibly well even though you're not really in control as a viewer yeah I've watched that opening sequence several times and every <laughs> single time my heart is racing it's like and every single time I'm like wait should we stop for that family or no just keep driving and like you yeah. know you're so torn <laughs> on like what you should be doing in this moment and it's like you really you know it's incredible how they captured that on in film as well um yeah. so you uh, had amazing chemistry with Pedro uh what was it like working with him he I mean he's just the best like he's really you know I'm so proud of him and happy for him that kind of the world you know was already well aware of how wonderful he is but it's kind of like waking up to his um 
incredibleness it's amazing to watch he deserves all of it and he was so cool to work with I mean he's such a wonderful actor so he's such an amazing scene partner as well um you know he's always in it with the cameras on him not on him whatever he's just as engaged and just as kind of there for you uh which is so nice to have that to work alongside but also he's just so much fun like he would make everyday fun he's very funny he's like wildly charming so everyone every time he makes a joke everyone's laughing um and yeah he was the best I was very lucky that we kind of you know we didn't have that long to kind of like establish a father-daughter relationship but I was very fortunate that as soon as we met kind of we had maybe like a week before we started filming uh and then you know we meet that week and then the next week we are filming um you know have known each other my whole life um but in that week, I was just like, oh, like, we're going to be friends for ages. And he's amazing. So if it started like that, and then by the end, I was just like, he's just like my best friend. I was just like, incredibly um comfortable and happy to go to work and be around him every day. He's the best. That's wonderful. And it, and it plays so well. They really play like, you know, a great father, daughter, and which I think is what affects, makes it so effective, you know, what goes down and uh you're, you really feel like as a father like I mean I watch it several times and every single time I've cried now uh, you specifically have made me oh. cry because you, you remind <laughs> me of my daughters and I tried to watch it again yesterday and I, I had to pause it I'm like I, I I need to be in an up mood this is such mm. a you know it's so weird that like my new favorite compliment is like someone will be like oh my god I watched it and I cried and I'm like thank you very much like yeah. that's like my new favorite um compliment which is weird <laughs> that I I revel in making people sad but um yeah thank you very much my wife cried. My host on my podcast <laughs> cried. I mean, anybody who's a, a parent, I know, cried for sure. So my parents um, cried. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that must have been terrible for the wife. <laughs> so, what have the responses been to your performance, and, and like from just people who watch the series, but also from gamers who have probably um, you know different perspective on it? You know, it was it was strange because I was I was nervous, definitely. Um, I'm a very harsh critic of myself when it comes to acting. And so I was, and I, you know, I hadn't, I didn't watch the first episode before it came out. I, the first, I mean, I did, I watched it at the premiere, but that was the first time I'd seen it. So I was kind of seeing it at the same time as like everyone else was. And I was just, you know, I left and was just like, you know, head in my hands, like stressed and, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was also, you know, there was a big thing of, um, you know, people not looking how they do in the game. And I was very aware that, you know, I didn't really, when it came from a place of um, people just really loved the game and kind of wanted to see like a play by play of the game reenacted onto into television that, you know, I can understand more so because like, the game means a lot to a lot of people. And, you know, mm -hmm. of course, I, you know, I'm not particularly going to please those people, but it's, you know, I get it more. So when it came from a thing of like a race issue in any regard, I was like, I really don't care. Cause it's like, you know, yeah. what a good but we're just like what a wonderful chance to you know be inclusive when it comes to casting and everything like you don't see the mom you have no idea what you know mm -hmm. um but so I was very just kind of you know I was just like uh that part of it you know didn't really resonate with me and it didn't really affect me too much but I was worried that it would kind of my performance would give people kind of like a thing to be like see and she sucks <laughs> like you know <laughs> so then it could kind of give merit to that argument and I was very worried that that would be a kind of you know response that I got but it was so overwhelmingly positive and lovely um and everyone was so not you know I mean I'm sure there's an onslaught of people also being like she sucks but I, I didn't see it so you know the main <laughs> response I got was so lovely and so positive and everyone was so um kind and I all of that kind of like preemptive stress and they're gonna say this and this like it just completely disappeared as soon as it came out uh and That's then left good. feeling like so proud of it too um yeah it was it was great I mean it was obviously you know it was strange to kind of like let everyone into this like big thing that we've all been working towards for the past like I mean me a couple months but for them like a year and a half uh but it was it was cool I was very yeah I was really happy it's great, you know, that you can just ignore all that because it's such a simple, simple-minded way of thinking that it's it's not worth even addressing or being letting it affect you. So you know, it's just like what you know, if it could, if someone could watch the show and see someone, you know, a, a young, just anyone really could like watch the show and see a piece of themselves in one character, whether it's looks or personality or where they come from or anything. I think you know, how important is that and how wonderful is that and why would we 
want to you know take that away um at the expense of because you know she's blonde in the game um but you know I understand everyone has their uh different reasons and I uh, value some more than I value others but my personal thing was like you know whatever when it came to that stuff that's a nice way to put it um <laughs> so what what was it like you know you have these very intense scenes explosions plane crashes you know the runners all around you what was it like shooting those it was those ones I found more fun I think you know when it came for everyone else I think it was more stressful because there's so much going on and you have to catch so much on camera and you know everything kind of has to be perfect so like one person deep in the background who's getting like eaten you know that has to be perfect and then also me and Pedro have to look just as terrified as we're meant to and you know this person over here has to be you know as infected and whatever and they have to be in the right place so there's so much going on that it's quite you know a lot for for everyone to kind of take in behind the camera but I think when you're in front of the camera and you're just kind of doing it I was just like this is so cool this is so fun the sets were huge um so you know there wasn't that much that you kind of had to imagine it's all very much you know in front of you for the most part um so it was I just thought it was so cool like I was just like you know everywhere you look something's going on or some there's fire or there's someone kind of running towards you or whatever it is but it was just like it felt very um epic uh and I loved it but it took it was tiring it took a lot and it was long uh as long of night shoots as we could get um in the Calgary summertime where it gets light incredibly early uh so yeah but it was I like I thought it was really fun and when you watch it what's your reaction to not only your performance but the series as a whole I was I mean I was so impressed I you know I I'd kind of seen bits and pieces and you know I knew inklings of you know I'd read I think like two episodes the first and the second episode but I kind of, you know, I knew a bit of what was going to happen and uh, the layout of what was going to go down. I think the first episode, the first time I watched it, I couldn't really watch it with like an objective eye because I was just looking at myself being like, oh my God, my hair looks so bad. Or like, well, just whatever like stupid thing I was, you know, vain thing I was thinking the first time. And then I got around to kind of like, I could properly appreciate uh, what was going on um, in a way that I'm very grateful because it was so wonderful to see all of the like incredible things that everyone around me was doing uh and not just like looking at myself with you know teenage shame um but I think like the rest of the series I mean it was so it was so cool to see Pedro how much his character develops because the version of him that I saw when I was filming was not you know it, it wasn't that it's him uh you know he's you, you know he's like lighter I guess when me and him were filming because it's prior to the outbreak and Sarah's death and everything so seeing him was so cool and I was so proud and seeing Bella I didn't get to see any of their work really uh because we didn't film any of the same times but to see how wonderful they are was just like so cool um it was just I was just so proud to be part of something um like that I was just because you know after I die I felt like I wasn't really involved anymore so I could just watch the show completely objectively and then like in one episode my face flashes and I was like oh my god and then reminded that I was in it in the first place when when you're watching it are you a fan of like horror and scary stuff or was it like was it intense for you or is it like you know no big deal I think I'm I'm a I, yeah I'm a fan of horror I love horror but I got you know that kind of thing where like you I love to watch it but I hate myself as I watch it because I'm like uh -huh. I won't be able to sleep when this ends so that would constantly like you know weigh on me but um but no I love horror so I you know I loved all of the kind of scarier moments and I've really you know leaned into all of them um yeah I loved it yeah that that tendril kiss was a, a nightmare alone but I know. I, I didn't know. I knew that I knew it was coming. So I wasn't that um, I wasn't as shocked as everyone else was. But I thought it was cool. I think a lot of people thought it was super creepy. I thought it was like kind of beautiful. Um, Oof, no, <laughs> I don't know where there's beauty in that. That was that gives me nightmares. That's uh, that's a rough one. I thought it was. No, I loved it. I, yeah, all of it. All that stuff. I was like, you know, when yeah. Bella's um, well, not Bella, when Ellie is uh, looking at the infected person, like poking their eye or something. That. Yeah. I was like, oh, love it. Like, <laughs> I love. Should be a doctor. Can, uh, <laughs> I, don't know about in, I don't know about in real life. The bit that got me is when uh, it's like pre outbreak and uh, the 
I, is she a doctor I think maybe goes and is like looking at like a dead infected person like one of the very early ones you know and they kind of like oh, yeah. cut a foot or something or cut something like open the person's mouth and then like all the stuff that I was like okay I really feel like there's like spiders crawling up my back um but even then I was like that was cool like I, re- I really liked it did you have a favorite episode I loved no but I was I you know I went I didn't have a favorite episode but I definitely went into the third episode kind of knowing there was like an expectation surrounding it and I knew what it was about but I didn't know anything else and I didn't really want to so the first time I watched the third episode I was like whoa I was incredibly impressed by everyone's performances I thought it was um really beautiful and definitely you know was Mm -hmm. crying and yeah I loved it yeah I didn't expect to cry more um in in this series I thought your death and that would pretty much be it but then yeah that that hit me there's yeah. the, the the song at the end that there's that moment when yeah it's like uh oh, it's it just kills and um, it really, yeah it got me they got me it's great about the series yeah <laughs> that, that you can be it can be scary it can be thought uh you know thought provoking mm-hmm. it's very emotional it, it really yeah. touches on a lot which is why I think you know as you probably know the audience grew and grew and grew and and it's uh you know it's it's just iconic almost at this point it's, it's wonderful mm-hmm. right. well what's next for you what's next I I don't know I have um uh I have a movie coming out sometime late this year I think which is very cool uh it's a searchlight movie directed by Laura Chin uh semi based on her life with Woody Harrelson and Laura Linney which was like a dream Mm -hmm. um they're so cool and very lovely and that was very fun um so that should be coming out later this year I think um and I don't know we'll see we'll see about the next thing I mean I think there's always things kind of on the roster but as of right now I'm just kind of you know I'm in school Mm -hmm. doing school uh for the time being well I'm sure a lot of people have you on their short list right now (laughs) things will be coming all right, let me just close out with a quick question. Three words to describe Sarah. Describe Sarah. Okay. Can they be random words? Because I have one that doesn't really make sense, but sure. it makes sense in my mind. Um, uh, playful, yellow, and um, caring. Yeah. What's the, the yellow? I don't... I don't know. I just think when I think of when I think of like the beginning of the first episode, there's a lot of um, like surround. I kind of knew they were doing this at the time, but like I think the way that they shot it, there's a lot of like light surrounding her constantly, and it's kind of like a yellowy hue. And like I oh. always think of like a lot of you know like the bubblier people in my life to be like they like represent like the color yellow to me. I don't know why, but there's like something kind of sunny about it, and I think that she is yeah. kind of representative of that um, for me. That's um, great. I, I mean, no one's ever described the character as yellow, and I love it. So, <laughs> well done. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really 100% enjoyed the series, and uh, you know, and your performance was a knockout. When they I had the opportunity to speak with you, I'm like, I have to. But, uh, <laughs> thank you very much. I, I had to make sure you're okay. <laughs> it's like, it's Are you still time. alive? <laughs> yeah, you're still here. Good. good. Well, thank you so much. Best of thank luck going forward. Much. Thank you. Bye.